All right, gang, I'm just making a quick video for you guys because you will be missing me uh, for this leg length demo. So we don't do these too often. You have two options. Um, there's one routine kind of for DR equipment and a second setup for CR equipment. So obviously here at the school, we have CR equipment. So what you're gonna need to do first is speak to your patient, explain to them that it's really important that they stay still and not move around during this study. We mainly do leg length discrepancies. I've never done an upper extremity, but that's also a possibility. You're gonna have their patient on the table and you're gonna place the leg length ruler directly underneath their leg on top of the table, making sure there's numbers both at the ankle joint and at the hip joint, okay? It doesn't actually matter which direction you go, but I like to have my numbers um, 100 at the top, zero at the bottom, whichever way you do it is fine. You may need to use some sandbags at their ankle so they don't move. Thankfully, my patient really stays wherever I put him. He stays pretty still. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do these exposures in the bucket. We're gonna make three exposures. We're gonna make one at the hip, one at the knee, and one at the ankle. And these are really small, coned in, um, tight exposures just at the joint space. So I am gonna be detented to the table bucky. I am also gonna be at 40 inch SID. All right. This one exam, I'm going to allow you not to be centered directly to your bucky tray. So what you have to do is you're going to cut your tray in three. So you're going to center upper part for the hip. You're going to center to the midpoint for the knee. And you're going to center the bottom third for the ankle. How do you do this? You're going to move your tray up and down. You are not going to push the tray all the way in because that activates that PBL, that positive beam limitation. So say, at, um, obviously it doesn't happen here at school, but at a facility, when I put in a 1417 cassette all the way into my bucky tray, my light field opens to 1417 in my bucky tray. So I don't want it to activate because then um, it's not gonna be what I want. So I'm gonna hit the lights a little bit so you can see me what I'm doing a little bit better. Sorry if this gives video gives anybody motion sickness here. Um, so I am lined up to kind of the top third here of my bucky tray. So I'm just gonna push this in, not all the way. Again, nothing I normally would let you guys ever do. All right. And then I'm gonna center my crosshairs, ideally on the femoral neck. Right? Obviously, you guys can't visualize your patient's femoral neck, right? But you know where the greater trochanter is in really similar location. So I'm going to do one small image here. This is not an entire 10 by 12 of a hip. All right, let's see. So I am at, I'm at a seven by seven for this exposure okay so i'm going to come out i'm going to set my hip technique so hip technique let's say is 20 mass at 80 or if we got it this guy is probably more of a 32 ish maybe for a hip this is a solid leg that i have here okay so i'm going to make this exposure he is positioned and that true AP, just like a hip, right? When you turn that foot in, that 15 to 20 degrees for your AP hip, okay? So you make your exposure. You're gonna come back in, and um, we need to do a knee. Do not move your patient. You need to move to the patient. So I'm most likely gonna have to move my tube down. Don't take it out of detent. Just come down with it. I'm gonna line up right in the middle of my bucky tray. Don't push in all the way. Don't wait, don't hear it click. Center right over that knee joint. Okay. 
Now I can straighten it out so I have a straight on knee, straight on AP. All right. I'm going to move over a little so I'm a little bit better centered. So, bucky knee technique, just like we normally do, same 8 mass at 60, 10 at 66, 12.5 at 70 for a bigger knee, something like that. Okay. Make your exposure, then I'm coming back. I'm going to slide my tube down. And I am going to center my bucky tray to the lower third. Don't push all the way in. Center directly over the ankle joint. Make sure your patient is AP and dorsiflex, just like you would do for a, any other ankle. And I'm coned in, I can cone in even tighter on this one. Let's see, I'm at a five by five on this one, all right? Obviously I would be using my side marker for these images, right or left leg, all right? The trick about the ankle shot is you have to determine what you'd use for a grid um, technique in the bucky. Because normally we do our ankle exposures tabletop, right, at say 2.5 mass at 55 or 2.5 at 60. So knowing what your grid ratio is is important. So most of your table buckies are a 10 to 1 or a 12 to 1. So if I have a 10 to 1 grid in my bucky, what am I multiplying my mass by? Quick, try and figure out the answer in your head before I tell you, right? So 10 to 1, I'm going to multiply by 5. And if you remember, 12 to 1 is still 5. They're the same. So say you're using 2 mass for tabletop or 2.5 mass for tabletop, you're most likely going to be at a 10 mass. Um, for the ankle as well. So usually between eight or 10, um, the digital equipment is obviously gonna be less, but so you're gonna have to use a grid technique similar to your grid knee for your ankle. So make that third exposure, and then you're gonna bring your cassette, take your cassette out, bring it over to the Fuji processor, and Okay, let me see if I can do this better. All right, so I process mine. I usually choose knee AP, but you could choose hip AP as well. And you are just going to process the 1417, and this is kind of what it's going to look like. So you should be able to see the numbers underneath your anatomy. So the numbers are going through the hip joint, the numbers are going through the knee joint, and the numbers are going through the ankle joint. And your radiologist is going to make their measurements from there. Okay, so at the hospital, ideally all this white around it will not show, but we don't have that fancy business here at the school. So, um, and then your S number, so you'll look to your S number. So this has a, this one has a 409 S number. So the S numbers are not super accurate because remember with CR, it reads center out and it doesn't love that we're making three separate exposures on here. It'll also depend on if you use a lead blocker. So you can use those lead pieces and block the areas that you're not exposing. So when you're doing the hip x-ray, you can use the lead blocker down here to prevent the cassette from being exposed to the scatter radiation, which obviously, right, always um, does not help your image contrast. So this one has a 171 number. It's definitely lighter here. A um, little bit nicer, but a little bit darker here at the ankle. So it's really hard, right? Because there's definitely different thicknesses to go by. So I wouldn't worry about my S number too much. Really, they're looking for the measurement. So as long as you can see the numbers underneath the body part, that is your goal. Okay. If you were going to use your DR system, so you're in, say, miscellaneous... Um, or the ER and you need to do these are 3300 you are gonna make three separate exposures there will be no stitching you're gonna you're gonna choose a hip a knee and an ankle the ankle will still be in the bucky yes and then you're gonna go to the other leg and you're gonna do hip knee ankle and you're gonna send all six images 
we always do both legs for comparison um, and then send those both to the radiologist and they'll do their measurements from there. Um, so what you're going to need to do with your patient is you take them off that ruler, have them scoop a little closer to you, slide the ruler underneath the other leg, put them in that position, use your sandbags or tape to keep them in place, and you're going to follow the same steps. So you're just going to do the other leg, hip, knee, ankle, as long as the ruler is underneath in your bucky tray or in your digital bucky tray, you're going to do those separate exposures. I hope that was helpful. Bye for now.